Hey, I'm Gina Pota, and I will show you how to block. The forehand and backhand blocks are defensive strokes. The efficiency behind block strokes is gained by using the speed and strength of the opponent's stroke. Reading the opponent and good timing are key for a good execution. This tutorial is for right-handers. For left-handers, use the video as your mirror image. Stand close to the table. Keep your feet shoulders width apart, almost at the same distance from the table. Your left foot should not be more than 10 to 15 centimeters in front of your right. Your knees are slightly bent. Your body is relaxed. The upper part of your spine is slightly bent. Your hips a little bit backward. Your core is much higher than with other strokes. The racket starting position is always above the ball. Your right shoulder is slightly forward and leaning downwards. Your elbow is also forward. The wrist is bent to get the top of the racket in a tilted position towards the body. Your grip and forearm are firm. Your elbow is close to the body and other parts of your body are relaxed. There is much less physical activity in block strokes. The racket moves forward and down, and the movement of the stroke is very small. When facing a strong topspin, backhand block is performed with lower and more forward shoulder, and your forearm is moving more downwards. A backhand block requires more action from the thumb pressing into the rubber. Like other backhand strokes, the backhand block is performed in front of the body, as it is an easier, more natural position to control the opponent's topspin. The ball should be intercepted about 15 centimeters after the bounce, about one net's height. If you want to be more aggressive and add some additional power to the ball, hit the ball at one and a half net's height. Direction of the racket should be towards the center of the ball, particularly for blocking topspins with a lot of rotation. The point of contact is the same as for forehand and backhand topspins. Many times, you can choose to play short topspin close to the table instead of block, so keep your options open. A block is a really short stroke, and your hand stops just a few centimeters after the contact. If you anticipate that you have to play another block, bring the racket to the middle and above the table. Move to the position where your opponent's loop is most likely to come. Keep the upper part of the body relaxed. Answering an opponent's strong attack with a technically good block is simple, but a very efficient tool for a defender. In many situations, it seems that the blocker is winning the mental game as he uses the opponent's speed and strength against him. For more information, check out our website. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Spins and Skills. Upgrade your game.